Right. So the most important one, I know everything is important, but this one, personal hygiene, because it us human beings that prepare food. It us that handle food. It us that store food. So our personal hygiene should be very important. Our personal standards, our personal hygiene, they need to report illness and hand washing and how to wash your hand. Okay, personal standard. You see, people, including food handlers, are a potential source of contamination. That's obvious. You see, the way we carry ourselves, our clothing. Okay, when you're cooking, do you talk over the food? Do you smoke? Do you do? The, you see, it's all about breaking those bad habits, breaking those bad habits. You see, you people including food handlers and i mean food handlers we are all potential source of contamination of food as a result of poor standard of personal hygiene so it is therefore our responsibility and your responsibility to maintain a high standard of personal hygiene now personal hygiene you must remember you must wear a ppe or the call personal protective equipment very important do you have your glass? Do you have your heart? You see, we have to make sure that we wear this when we are cooking food. Cover cut and burn. If you realize that in your finger, you have any cut, you have any burns, you have to make sure you cover it with a waterproof dressing. Wash your hand regularly. That's a basic habit that we need to remember as food handlers. Wash your hand regularly. Now, must not, remember, these you should not do when you are in the kitchen, when you are preparing, when you are handling food. You must not lick your fingers when handling food. It is not hygienic. You must not wear nail varnish or nail extension when you are handling or preparing food. You must not wear loose jewelry, except wedding band like mine here. You're allowed to do that. But any other jewelry, you cannot wear them. You cannot wear them. You cannot, you must not smoke, eat or drink when you're handling or preparing food. You can't do that. Okay? All of this is to avoid what? Cross contamination. So we must not do all these things. Personal hygiene is very important. Now, in the unfortunate event that you find that you have any food poisoning symptoms, make sure that you immediately see your doctor. Okay, you have to see your doctor. And remember, please do not return to work until you are cleared by your doctor. Hand washing is very important and personal hygiene. Always wash your hands. When you enter and re-enter the kitchen, obviously after using the toilet and between handling raw meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and any other food, make sure you wash your hand. As I said before, you must report to your manager or supervisor if you suffer the symptoms of food poisoning. You remember the symptoms? Stomach cramps, diarrhea. You see, all these symptoms, remember, you've got to make sure that you, if you have those, you have to report to your manager or supervisor. If you have any skin complaints, if a member of your family or a person in your household becomes ill or the symptoms of food poisoning. So you have to make sure that you report to your manager or your supervisor. Hand washing, how to wash your hand properly. You see, keeping hands clean is one of the most important steps we can take to avoid getting sick and spreading germs. Using hand wash to kill bacteria, it's very important. Okay, and how do you wash hand? It's very simple. You don't have to rush sometimes. We wash hand just in a second and then we disappear. Now, when you are in the public, 
or when you're in the kitchen serving food to the public. So washing hand is very important. So we have to follow those steps to make sure that our hand are cleaned, are washed thoroughly. Number one, what you have to do, you have to wet your hand first. Number two, liquid soap. Number three, okay, leather and scrub for 20 seconds. Okay, number four, what do you have to do? You have to, okay, rinse for 10 seconds. You take your time, make sure you get rid of those small bacteria, you know, the flococcus in your hand. Dry your hands and also you have to make sure that you turn off your tap using the tissue that you have or any paper that you are using to dry your hand. Remember, don't forget to wash between your fingers, very important, under your nails, very important, also the tops of your hand. That's how you wash your hand correctly, thoroughly and properly. Make sure that all the bacteria in your hand are gone. Now, food premises and equipment. Here in this section, I'm not going to spend time. Normally, I don't give it in level two. I normally give it in level three. But, you know, just for some bonus, I want just to have a basic idea on food premises and equipment. Okay. In this, I'm going to cover clean and maintain uh, cleanness, maintain food premises for health and safety reasons. Okay. Health and safety. If you want the full training, we do provide that. But this one, I'm just going to cover just the basic, okay? So you understand because when you're working in the kitchen, obviously health and safety is paramount so that you know your environment, your vicinity, what can cause harm, any hazard around you, very important. We're going to talk about hand washing facilities and toilets, ventilation. We're going to talk about refuse control and equipment and health and safety awareness, okay? Now, clean and maintain food premises for health and safety reasons. You see the layout, the design, the construction, the site and size of your premises must allow adequate maintenance, cleaning, and also disinfection, okay? You've got to avoid or minimize airborne contamination. Make sure you provide enough working space, okay? Provide enough working space so that make sure that when you have two staff or three staff, people can move around, make sure they can clean around, okay? So have, make sure you have enough working space. Make sure nothing can cause sleep, trips and falls. Remember, 33% of cause of accident come from sleep trips, and also falls, okay? So you need to remember that, okay? You must have an adequate number of wash machines. Remember, toilets must not open directly into rooms where you handle food. Ventilation, very important. You must have enough ventilation, okay? Either natural or maybe mechanical, that could be extractor, make sure you open windows of them, that's a natural ventilation, okay? Now refuse control, there should be enough beans in the food preparation area, okay? So to stop waste building up, make sure you clean as you go, clean as you go, very important. External beans should also be provided, okay, with Okay, fitting lady that be capable of being cleaned. Okay, now also the equipment, all items, fitting and equipment that food touches must be cleaned effectively, made, made of appropriate materials and kept in good order. Very important, all the utensils, all the equipment, make sure they are clean, you clean everywhere. Okay, now cleaning and disinfectant. Cleaning and disinfection, okay? Why is cleaning important? Dishwash and sink, cleaning and sanitizing, organizing, cleaning, okay? Cleaning is important because it reduces attraction to all types of pests, 
It reduces the risk of food poisoning bacteria. It also provides a more pleasant working environment. You see, when the place is clean, everybody is happy. Nice smell. Everybody it makes everybody happy. So we have to make sure that we keep our uh, food preparation surfaces everywhere in the kitchen, we keep it clean. It attracts customers to your business. When your restaurant, the place is clean, they want to go there. I want to go to the place where it's nice and pleasant. I want to go there. Comply with all necessary legislation, very important. So what is the piece? of UK legislation is what we call the Food Safety Act 1990. So as a food business operator, as a food business owner, you've got to make sure that you comply with all necessary legislation. If you don't remember, there are offices, offices that we call environmental health offices. They'll visit you soon. You don't want your business closed. Because if you don't keep up with the standards of le legislation, you see, you're going to lose profit. You're going to lose customers. You're going to lose your business. So there's no need for that. So the best thing to do is to comply with all necessary legislation. Okay? Now, cleaning and disinfection. You see, cleaning or this cleaning... Cleaning accomplished with soap or detergent and water refers to a physical removal of dirt and cream and in the process, some portion of the germs on a given surface, like cleaning. Now, cleaning chemicals, including detergents. We can use detergent, we can use sanitizers, we can use also disinfectant, all these they have different purposes. So you see, the detergent is completely different from sanitizers. The type of job that detergent does, it's completely different from what sanitizer does. It's completely from what disinfectant does, okay? So we go normally into details in level three. Dishwashers. Dishwashers are equipped with detergent and rinse chemicals. You see, dishwashers operate at wash temperature of 60 degrees Celsius and rinse temperature should be 82 degrees Celsius, okay? We always recommend in the kitchen to have double sink method of washing, pot, pans, okay? So it's always important that you have the double sink, double sink method to wash pans and pot separately. If you have glasses, you can wash the glasses or the mugs in the same sink. So when you have the double one, then you can wash, you know, those greasy pots in a different sink so that you avoid that cross-contamination, those the fat going to every sink. So it's always important to have double sink method. Now, cleaning, remember, has to be organized in order to ensure that catering establishment are cleaned or the place where you're selling the food, clean regularly at the frequency necessary to maintain standard. Now, cleaning is to be organized using cleaning schedule, okay? So we have that, you know, at this particular time in the morning at 10 o'clock, Somebody has to clean, and when they clean, you record it. And maybe at two o'clock, we have to clean, so you have to record. Okay, and this recording you have how to clean the person, they need to know how to clean with chemical. What type of chemicals do we use? Uh, detergent, do you do we use sanitizers or we use disinfectant? Okay, so cleaning has to be to be organize how to dilute the chemical in water to ensure it's effective, okay? So it's always important to organize cleaning. So the next section, we're going to talk about pest control. Which pest you need to control? Why is pest control important? How do you control pests 
and also the prevention of pest infestation. Now, which pest you need to control? We have to control rat, mice, cockroaches, flies, and ants. So all these pests need to be controlled. Why is pest control important? Pest control is important because pests carry harmful bacteria. Now, these harmful bacteria can be passed to the food. Remember, pests can also cause serious damage to the structure and also the fabric of food premises. For example, rats. You know, you have mice when they come and drop their droppings into the food that can cause, you know, food uh, contamination. How do you control pests? Sometimes in the kitchen, you have to feed what we call the fly screens, maintaining those so there are no holes all over the place. You see, you see the mice on the right, they're very clever, you know, uh, guys, they're very clever so they can come in through under the door. So you have to make sure the doors and the windows are maintained properly so that you keep them outside. Keeping the catering establishment in good repair, very important. Keeping food stored in sealed containers. You see, cleanness, these guys, they don't like cleanness. When your kitchen is clean, they're not gonna come there because there's nothing that attracts them. So when you leave food all over the place, especially when you finish cooking, you've got to make sure that you clean before the next cleaning. So the food, is not to be left everywhere on the surfaces. Make sure that you store food in some sealed containers and you keep them away from the food preparation area. That's how you control pests. There's no magic how to control pests. So make sure you just keep the place clean. And how to prevent pest infestation? Checking for delivery to check that there are no pests. When you have food, you make sure that you control the food uh, uh, deliveries using electric fly killers. Sometimes you can employ a pest control contractor. So regularly check the premises internally and externally, especially in the storage, you have to make sure that you check that there are no droppings there. Okay, so that's gonna be the end of our food safety, hygiene, food, safety and hygiene today. So level two, so that's gonna be the end. Now, why food safety training today? These are just tips that I'm giving you to comply with food legislations, to ensure that food handlers, you as a food handler, practice food hygiene and practice at all times. And also providing staff training ensures that food safety hazard will be avoided. Now, always remember to record and report. Comply with food regulations. Comply with food establishment regulations. Wear protective equipment. Protect customers from food poisoning. And remember, stay safe. I hope you've got some basic understanding of food safety and hygiene. So now next, we're gonna go to our tests and assessment. So you're gonna have the link below and then you're gonna click that link, it's gonna take you to the assessment. Remember, there'll be 27 multiple questions. You have to make sure that you pass at least the passing mark is 18. So when you get 18, it should get below, you're not going to be able to qualify and get your certificate. So make sure you pass, get 18 mark in order for you to get a certificate. I wish you a good luck. And I'll see you on level three if you come on level three, of course. Okay, you take care and bye.